Did you guys know that Rogibs just buffed 25 of the common bloodlines in the game? Well, in case you guys didn't, or in case you guys do know, in this video, I'm going to be listing out all of the ones that are actually going to be the biggest changes and the bloodlines that are actually really, really good now. And of course, I'm going to be saying all the changes at the very end of the video, but I'm going to be starting off with the big changes, the bloodlines that are actually really, really good now. And you should stop spinning away these bloodlines because they will actually, you know, be better than some of the rarer bloodlines of the game. So if you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe right to the video, guys. All right, so we're going to start off with Storm. Now, Storm actually did receive some major buffs. The first ability now has better auto tracking onto it so this is like the ability that kind of counters iframe plus auto dodges in the game because it does hit them through the auto dodge and kind of just messes with them overall now the second ability here the second ability the auto tracking on the move was improved it's just there's not really much to say about the move it kind of it's just the damage ability i mean if you want to use it you can i would in my opinion the third ability was turned into an auto dodge but for some reason you could actually cancel it before it even activates so i do not feel like it's a very good iframe at all but it, the, i do feel like the changes they did make the kg a lot better hence why it's going to be in the best kg you know part of the tier list now nectar actually has received some major buffs so nectar here so nectar has actually received some huge buffs the third ability now was completely changed the third ability is now a dash attack that actually does stun them at the end of it and the old third ability was actually moved to the weapon spec so you know that is a lot better than not having a weapon spec at all not just the fact that the m1s no longer uh they they just have more poison damage to them so actually nectar does nectar's a really really good bloodline now all things considered. All right, so let's talk about Wanziame. Now, Wanziame received probably one of the most major buffs on this list. Wanziame here, boom, Z-Spec. And look how much the Z-Spec actually goes out. Not to mention the fact that the first ability is now almost instantaneous, and actually the Z-Spec does insanely slow them down now. I would also like to say that it does drain your chi a lot if they're using the actual Z-Spec of it. So yeah, Wanziame is pretty insane if you actually can get that chi drain off on them. This was a really quick change, but it's going to be, you know, some of the, uh, there's another one on the list that's almost the exact same. But Giovanni Shizen, oh, that's not the right one giovanni she's in c2 mode drain was reduced i do think that's a huge buff to the mode because almost nobody ever used giovanni she's in simply because the second mode was unusable with 200 mode drain but the actual m1s received no knockback now now it does around 63,000 damage in m1 combo which is really good when you consider the m1 range of this is like equal to a full susano so that's pretty insane not to mention the fact that the c spec also is you know it's still the it, high amount of damage it used to be even with that lower amount of mode drain so giovanni she's in is a much better place now now the next buffer we're gonna be talking about is of course going to be the light joke eye buff now the light joke eye buff is probably one of the most big like the big one of the biggest buffs on this list i'm just going to be honest here because the light joke eye buff received removed knockback for m1s and made it chi drain now if you guys do not know how it say this is you're about to find out so uh as you guys can see boom m1s they don't knock back now and they actually drain a ton of chi like it's a lot of chi so here's the reason why this is so op boom look at this c spec boom into acrobat style oh i missed acrobat style but there are there's actually combos you can do with light joke eye that will actually extend the m1 so if you guys extend the m1s correctly you'll literally be able to drain their entire chi bar before they can even perfect block out making it so anything they'll do afterwards is can it's, it's basically just entirely useless whatever like if they have no chi they pretty much could do nothing besides use instant taijutsu moves so yeah i think that's a you know i don't like this buff but it definitely made light jokai a lot better so i bet all the people that spam light jokai are very happy about it so kakatsu kakatsu received one major buff there was other moves that were buffed or the night we were talking about so with light jokai here so light, i mean not light guys so with kakatsu here if you guys do a full m1 combo kakatsu the dash was actually buffed so now the dash is completely true the, the dash is completely true off of kakatsu which makes kakatsu a lot better than it used to be i'll show you guys now you could literally chase people down with kakatsu now because you know how you used to have terrible auto tracking right well kakatsu now look at this nero bop and then you could just go behind them stun to start your m1 combo or you could even extend air combos with it it's air combo acceptable kakatsu have received some major buffs kakatsu is a lot better than it used to be just from that one single boom all right so next up in the best change is actually going to be paper so paper's going to be here because they actually did change a lot about paper the first ability doesn't do as much damage as it used to be as it used to but that was compensated for so the the third ability now it had its damage actually improved it does eighty thousand damage as long as you do something with it um if for some reason you have to like hit them twice inside the paper stun but if you do that it does eighty thousand damage with a single ability that's the fact that the actual shurikens now they actually drain barely any chi it has a it has a two second cooldown and also is not on the stun level cooldown any longer so yeah paper received some major buffs pretty much every move of paper was buffed besides the first one and the actual z spec i'm pretty sure had its damage increased as well yeah seventy-four thousand damage that's almost as much as karata imagine a ranged karata z spec pretty insane all things considered hey you yeah you have you remembered to hit the like button on the video yet if you haven't already go ahead and do it all right so here are some other changes they're not exactly the best but they're not actually the worst changes either black shock basically the block break got moved um as you can see the auto tracking isn't very good anymore 
on black on black shock but they actually did increase the stun time of the moves and they also did increase the aoe size of the second move so you know black shock did receive some buffs but i'm pretty sure the buffs that it received beforehand they're a lot more impactful than the buffs they receive now now dog and mode actually did receive a buff like a, it's a pretty major buff so you, you can see the m1s here they no longer knock back so i i'm sure you guys understand how you know good that is compared to how it used to be but also the c spec they actually made it so the c spec now block breaks on the last m1 so as you guys can see it will block break them now the c spec was actually buffed so you know that's that's a pretty major change all things considered because actually the c spec used to be useless if they would block so i do think dog mode is a lot better than it used to be now kachu kachu is going to be a kind of a weird one because i do actually think that what kachu received was a nerf but overall you know kachu is still fine as a bloodline it still does everything it did before i i don't notice any change like any difference in how stuff changes it still does tons of damage it still drains a ton of chi you know it's still it, yeah look the c spec just did 70,000 damage you know so yeah also i would also like to say that the kachu m1s no longer knock back anymore and they still do train chi so that is actually a buff but the other abilities they feel the exact same so i'm not really sure what they did with those exactly they say they did things but it doesn't really seem like it by the way guys what is your favorite buff that has happened to shiddle life in the most recent update for turbo cuts below we'll be checking them out all right so the next changes actually are either going to be nerfs or buffs that literally just almost did nothing i mean they did obviously make them better but you know overall the nerfs really did nothing so first of all kenichi c2 was actually nerfed so they did nerf the c2 so as you guys can see the c2 mode is, i'm pretty sure the auto dodge chance was nerfed uh they changed the auto dodge chance so now it's not as much as it used to be but it still doesn't really drain that much stamina so the still the c2 mode is good it just doesn't auto dodge as much anymore and you still could do the yoinkers now i gotta say the other booties can each either still pretty bad all this is considered i mean the third ability still has that gap so i uh, pretty much any change that they can actually make it I, it's just like there's some small changes that kanichi needs to actually you know be as good as it could possibly be in my opinion here's a really small change karada now has no hand size with the first ability but it still has no hit stud so it's still pretty much useless in combos azurashi z1 spec received no end lag anymore so the end lag on azurashi z1 isn't there anymore so you can immediately m1 combo not really a big change but it still is a buff jokai mode now has a cute a better q spec like the the, the dash ability is a lot better than it used to be you know but it still has that knockback attached to it but it's still it does drain a lot of chi now which is actually you know a huge it's a huge change for jokai itself because it had one of the worst modes of the game now sand sand is actually the only one on this entire list that was actually only received nerfs the second ability takes more chi now the first ability i'm pretty sure nothing changed by it uh actually no the first ability was changed the z spec now does less damage than it used to like sand sand only received nerfs i think that's funny because this update was like this huge balance update oh i forgot it didn't only receive nerfs the m1's no longer knockback so that actually is a buff but like why are you gonna be m1ing people when you have 800 tie i don't know all right so for okami itself the c-spec of the third ability has actually been changed so the c-spec boom the c-spec is that oh i okay i'm glitched now so the third ability minikami was actually changed so now it's a dog you basically just run around on a dog it's the old rengoku animal path ability if you guys are familiar with that also the mode the mode c-spec now it actually is just a straight up dash ability it does damage it's kind of like a dio cycle q-spec or raijikidichi q-spec uh it's kind of like that where it's just a dash attack and it hits people in the middle there's not really much else to say about it okami is just like that now for minikami I mean, the second ability has actually been it has received some major buffs it does a lot of damage out in the actual video that rogue game showed it did 500,000 damage it doesn't do that anymore but it still does 70,000 damage and that's pretty good for being you know a poison ability now for ink the ink third ability here so the boom third ability the chi drain was reduced and it does more damage now so there's not really much else to say about it besides actually that all right so for station here station it's just the the mode actually got buffed so the m1s no longer knock people back and uh the c-spec actually does a lot more damage now the c-spec still really bad but it does like it does like 80 like 89,000 damage so you know that's a huge improvement on what it actually used to be all right so for dokai dokai c-spec actually did receive a damage buff so i'm gonna go boom c2 dokai c-spec boom damage buff it actually does uh i think it does 80,000 if both procs hit but if it doesn't it only does 55 the third ability actually had its uh auto tracking improved you know that's a pretty big buff and the first ability is now a dash attack so you know if you like dash attacks that's for you i guess and if you guys enjoyed this video you guys enjoyed this video Thanks, guys Bye-bye.